What is up guys and welcome back to another Ray Cello Legends video with me, The Real Deal. So today we are going to be putting shards and um, it's two times ancients. But just before we do that, I want to ask, please go watch my last video. It's freaking hilarious. Um, it's only two and a half minutes long, so it's not going to take up too much of your time. And it is guaranteed lols. Um, it is for 18 plus only though. So you do need to be over the age of 18 to watch it um, because I do use some very fruity and colourful language. Um, but yeah, and if you don't piss yourself laughing, you're going to get 5,000 gems. I don't know how, I don't know where from, but um, you will get them somehow. But yeah, anyway, so we're going to be pulling shards today. Um, I've been a very good boy. Um, I skipped um, the last two times event and I have not pulled an ancient shard for 12 weeks. Um, so I've saved up 311. We're only going to pull 160 today. Um, because I'm saving 150 in case I do another guaranteed champion event. Um, I'm hoping for another Candrophon or Wither would be amazing. Um, but there's sort of six champions that I'm after for, for 3v3 arena, sort of offense and defense. So Candrophon, Wither, uh, Lady Kimmy would be awesome. Um, Duchess, um, Mountain King and Prince Kaimar. All those champions are like the top, top champions I want. So fingers crossed that I'll get one of them today. So let's just start pulling. Um, so the last thing I want to say as well is that, you know, I have the discipline of a monk. Every time I go to pull a shard, I just like slap myself. No, no real deal. We're not pulling shards. And yeah, that is how you stay disciplined as a free to play player. And how do I get all these shards? Well, um, I do Ultra Nightmare and I do um, from Ultra Nightmare all the way down to Brutal every day. And if I've got the energy and I can be bothered, I also do hard as well. So that gives me loads of ancient shards. Um, I can clear all of Doom Tower. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, tournaments as well is a great place to get them. But yeah, there's all sorts of places you can get ancient shards from. And when you are end game, you know, you do start to just come into shards. So you do roughly get about 150 every six weeks. So if you have that discipline and you hold on, you will get all those shards. So don't just start blaming them all the time. You need to save onto them. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. So, I mean, that is amazing. But I don't know. Oh, don't do me like that. So um, I recently pulled a Draken Morph about, I would say, six weeks ago. And in that time frame, I've pulled three. So now I've got, well, no, sorry, I've pulled two more. So I've got three Draken Morphs now. What is going on? Unbelievable. But anyway... Um, yeah, but one thing I want to say as well, one, I have never pulled more than one legendary in 150 shards, never. So I'm hoping today that I can sort of get at least two or three. Um, I'm going to share some screenshots that someone shared that I saw earlier today. Someone managed to pull um, seven legendaries out of 150 shards, which is just ridiculous, absolutely redonkulous. Um, I've never had that sort of luck, like I said. I've been playing this game for two and a half years and I've only pulled one legendary out of 150 with Ancients over two and a half years. That is that is just sad. That is really sad. So hopefully my luck's going to change today and we're going to get something really tasty and something new. I want something new for my account and I want something for my defense team. I really need it. Okay, Vogoth, one of my favorite champions. That's my third Vogoth. I did feed a load of them, but I'm going to hold on to him because he is a great champion. No way. Okay. Um, how many did we pull? Oh. Oh, 100. All right. So we've already done 100. Cool, that went quick. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little trick. Um, so I could ha I'm going to not do all of this, but I've got some of my reverse reserve vault to go chuck all those champions in there. So I'm going to be back in a sec. So this is going to help uh, speed things up. And the other thing as well. So what's great about this is I'm going to chuck them in the reserve uh, vault. And then when the next champion training event comes round, um, I can save that food so I'd have to waste. Because back in the day, I used to burn a lot of food when I was pulling shards. Um, and it was so wasteful. So it's a really good way to save your resources. Okay, guys. So we've got about 70 shards left. Let's go. Come on. I want something special. I want something spicy. Oh, and do you know what as well? Like there's, I had like a really dry spell where I got like, okay, husk, great champion where um, for three months, all I pulled was either a dupe or a, um, a fusion that I already had. And it was the most frustrating thing ever. I was very, very upset. 
So come on, show me the money! Oh, it's not looking good, lads. It is not looking good. Oh, please, just one more Lego. Just one more. Oh, we're getting very close to the bottom. Ultimate Gaelic, the worst champion. There we go. Oh, it's the guaranteed. Uh, go Fred or Joffrey. Brass clad. Um, he looks like a really interesting champion. Um, I've not come across, uh, come across him in the arena yet. But basically he has one really cool... Oh, well, do you know what? let's just have a quick look at him. Yeah, increases his defense, blah, blah, blah. It's not really that that I'm interested. Not that as well. So he does do um, stun, actually. That's really useful. But I think it's this ability here. So basically whenever someone's about to get killed, he'll put um, block, D uh, block damage on them. And so that basically saves them from dying and then we'll place a um, stun on the enemy target. So that is something really interesting. So he does seem like quite a cool champion. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to have a play around with him and see what's going on. So that's 140. So that means we've got 30 shards left to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. All blues. Don't like to see that at all. Come on. Come on. This is just painful. But yeah, Husk, great champion. Um, I actually really like uh, Gihard, the stone as well, uh, Gerard. He is pretty cool. Like He's a really hard-hitting single target uh, damage dealer. Um, really good for faction wars. I don't think there's really anywhere else you can use him, but I do like him. He looks pretty cool as well. But yeah, Husk, great champion. Great for Hydra. And really, like, if you build him up properly, he's a solid champion. And basically you just want to put loads of HP on him, uh, crit rate, 100%, and loads of crit damage, and he will smack. So that is it, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, that is just so disappointing. Um, so I probably got... Uh, probably probably next, next video, I'm definitely going to be guaranteed a legendary, but still, like, oh, my God, where is my Duchess? Where is my Wither? Oh, I just feel like I'm never going to get these champions. And I just don't want to spend... I do not want to spend money on this game. So, really disappointing. But, um, yeah, let's check out this other guy. So, so big shout out to Sigurd Kinkardian, um, who shared these uh, screenshots. So, he got seven legendaries out of 150. And I've never had that insane luck. Um, but, yeah, so who did he get? He got Tidor, who's one of the new champions, who's absolutely broken, absolutely busted, insane champion, amazing for... Uh, PvE content, um, Lanakis, who's also a great champion, uh, great for um, that, those blender comps for Arena, um, also War Mother, who I think people really underrate her, she is, as, as bomb champions grow, is actually sick for the Arena, I know someone that's got like a team comp that they use her for, and he's like top, uh, top platinum player, uh, shout out to Tea Leaf, and he uses War Mother, and this team comp he's got is absolutely broken. So she actually does have a place in the game uh, and is pretty sick, actually, and underrated. Uh, Fushan, another great champion, great for clan boss um, with that myth, mytha team that you can use. Um, and also, like, Speed Aura, insane damage and can do stuns, great champion. Um, Prince Kaimar, who doesn't want a Prince Kaimar? Absolutely busted champion. Uh, top, you know, top tier for arena and PvE content, you know, speed runs and, you know, stripping those buffs, putting enemies to sleep, great for the arena, um, countering stone skin 50% of the time, uh, Joffrey, um, yeah, new champion, which everyone's guaranteed, and then Mother Sabelle, who everyone absolutely hated when she first came out, but it's actually great for Hydra, so yeah, uh, congrats to you, and um, was it Sigurd? Sigurd Kardian or Kim Kardashian's uh, cousin. Um, congratulations, mate. Well done. Sick, sick pulls. Um, I did wish I had your luck. And yeah, good luck to anyone that's pulling shards today. I hope you get some massive game changers that really boost your account. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.